people call Prophet Muhammad I'll then show them this video. Gee, I wonder why I keep getting tagged in this video. I'm going to be showing you with proofs from the Bible that Isaac married Rebecca when he was 40 and she was only 3 years old. Oh good, Biblical Ages, something I've studied extensively in the past. And even if you could prove Rebecca was 3, it wouldn't justify the marriage. Just like Noah's drunkenness does not mean you're allowed to get drunk. Abraham allowing his wife to be taken by Pharaoh does not justify that behavior either. So in Genesis 17:17, 17, 17, it says that Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said in his heart, shall a child be born to a man who is 100 years old? You already missed something there, but we'll come back to that later. And then in Genesis 21:5, it says now Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Now in Genesis chapter 22, it explains the incident of Mount Moriah and when Abraham was informed of the birth of Rebekah. And shortly after this, in Genesis 23, Abraham is informed of Sarah's death. Okay, two problems here. One, Genesis 22 does not say that Abraham was informed that Rebekah was born that very year. It says, now after these things, it was told to Abraham, behold, Milcah has also born children to your brother Nahor. One of these sons was the father of Rebekah. So sometime after the event on Mount Moriah, could have been a month, could have been 10 years, someone came from the east and informed Abraham of the extent of Nahor's family. We're not told how long after that took place. Nor are we informed on the year Rebekah was born. Second, Genesis 23 does not say Sarah died the same year of the incident on Mount Moriah. This is just the next big event that happened in Abraham's life. Furthermore, the way Rebecca is described in Genesis 24 does not indicate she's likely a three-year-old girl. It says when Abraham's servant arrived that Rebecca came out with her water jar on her shoulder. Then she went on to give water to all ten of the camels that were with him. This sounds like someone with the physical stamina of a much older age. Furthermore, there's no reason to take the ages of the patriarchs literal. If we go back to Genesis 17, 17, it says Abraham laughed because he didn't think it was possible for someone to have a child at the age of 100. If the ages are literal, we can do the math and see that when Abraham was born, his own father would have been 130. Abraham's own response in Genesis 17 indicates the ages of the patriarchs are likely symbolic, and this fits with the cultural context as I discuss here. The Israelites were likely giving symbolic numbers to the ages of patriarchs to give them more honor. So there is no reason whatsoever to think Genesis says Rebecca was three when she married Isaac. The funny thing is, is Christians will still find an excuse and say that this is some sort of a translation error. Nope. And as you can see, that is not even remotely how we address this. And even if you were right, it wouldn't justify Isaac's marriage or Muhammad's marriage to Aisha. Just like Noah's drunkenness does not mean it's morally permissible to be drunk.